Welcome to the Snake Pit. Time for another Bud K mystery bag. On packaging, unboxing, I guess it's an unbagging. This one is the surprise bag that's supposed to be valued at $50. And it will set you back currently uh, $31.99. I did get 10% off for being in the Buyers Club. And it is, in case you're looking for it, 35 BK Bag 2 on their website. Open it up with the little Shadow Warrior that they sent me for, for signing up for that Buyers Club. Get 10% off of that Buyers Club for the year. So, this one, <laughs> all right, okay. I already don't like some of the stuff I'm seeing. Oh yes, kissing crane. Who was asking me about that? Uh, kissing crane stuff. Dang it, another one of those. Okay. So, unfortunately, they're doing duplicates in the uh, bags, in the cross pollination of their bags, which they used to not do as much until, like, about a year ago when they just did all duplicates. But we're gonna go things I've already looked at first. I'll give you a quick look in case you didn't look at the last vid for that $25 value bag. Real quick, protective face mask. Same one, exact same one. So, this one is uh, keep your distance, pretty crude. And like I said before, it's like a neoprene material. I wouldn't want to have this on. That just would be, I wouldn't want to try to breathe through that. I don't know. I don't even want to wear a mask anyway. Some people are forced to. I guess you're not really forced to. You just don't have to go to those places. Um, but I guess I should keep it out for the for the photo at the end. So we got a mask. Okay. We got a mask. Stop messing with it. We got a mask. This. Get the age. This should be a lighter. And I bet it's going to be exact. It's exact same, exact same lighter that I just got in the other bag. That's okay. Maybe you're not ordering that smaller bag. Uh, it does have a um, what do you call it? Steampunk theme, but it's just a decal looking thing on there. And I'm not a big lighter fan as far as these type of lighters go. But this one, uh, let me get it out. You pull this cartridge out, if I can get it out, there we go, and uh, lighter does not self-extinguish, close the lid to put it out, okay. So anyway, you take that out, you lift this up, you put your lighter fluid in there, follow, there's some instructions in, in this thing, and show you how to do all that. So, take a look at the instructions, if you don't know, it's not going to light up right out the box, you got to put some fluid in it. And it's a lighter. It's a wick lighter. So you gotta manage that wick. Okay. I'm sitting here buttoning everything up. Um, Alright, so those are the two duplicates for sure that I just got. What is this? It's gotta be some type of pen knife. Mystery. This is exciting. It's kind of a mystery. Mystery. What is this? Okay. I can get it out. Uh, XL1091. Come on. Get out of the box. Oh, it's like a key ring on it. Oh, it's a little it's a little mini baton for your key ring. I mean, how useful is that gonna be? I guess you could do like that and punch, kind of like the old roll of quarters or whatever. It's a little bit smaller, but you know, I don't know if you're going to be swinging this around. Oh, ow, ow, ow. That does kind of hurt a little bit. Maybe. All right, there's a little keychain baton. Probably aluminum. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Okay, what do we got here? Say, uh, Shinwa, uh, Sehon pocket knife. And K, 
KZ1062. All right. Let's take a look at it. This might be kind of cool. Uh, it's taped. Gotta have a knife to open a knife box. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Three and three quarter stainless steel upswept cleaver blade, smooth assist opening mechanism, ergonomic black G10 handle scales, sturdy metal pocket clip, measures five inches closed. All right, let's see. Ooh, all right, it does open really smooth. This is cool. So G10 scales. And that is an interesting, I mean, it's bladed all the way through here, all the way through there, not on the back. You do have a little jimping right there. Okay. Looks like an upswept cleaver blade. There's some type of Chinese writing marking here. It'll be interesting to know what that actually says. The Shinwa knives and swords are usually pretty decent from what I've seen. Just the few I've gotten. So this is probably one of the standout items for this. And it is it is comfortable in the hand. That actually fits my hand really good. This would depend on the size of your hand because it needs to fit right in that groove. Right in that groove. So I don't know what you're doing with this. Maybe camping, cutting the using as a cleaver, cutting stuff. I don't know. Anyone seen a knife shaped like this? <laughs> Let me know. I think it's cool. And probably one of the better, like I said, these shin walls are probably the better as far as budget knives and stuff go that Bud K has. So that's a standout so far. And all right, those of you that know, know. I do have a little kissing crane collection. So I'm very excited to see this. In another video, I'll have to add this to the collection. I'll, I'll roll out that whole knife set. Kind of old, like the old days. This one is KC5199. Let's see what it looks like. It has been so long since I've gotten a kissing crane. Um, hopefully it's not something I already have. And it doesn't look like it is. Okay. Alright. Nice. I'm going to have to look up the info on this. Talk about it a little more when I add it to my knife roll. It's showing a Dam uh, Damascus here. So you can kind of see the layers there, but I'm not so sure. Yeah, it does. I mean, oh, what does Damascus feel like? I don't, I don't know. But being a kissing crane. I would think that is legit. Someone will probably pipe in and tell me whatever. But kind of have a translucent slabs here into like a pearlesque look to them. I like it. This is definitely not something I have. So I'll look a little more into this. Look more information up on this later when I add it to that knife roll. So stay tuned for that video. And if I can remember, I'll come back and and drop a little link to that video. I like it. Kissing Crane, yes. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. I'll save that cap for last, but this is really looking cool to me. Check this out. Skull Ice Molds. <laughs> Ice with the attitude. Cool your beverage in style without watering it down. Um, how are you not watering it down if you drop a big deal of ice in it? <clears throat> Set of three. Creates three detailed skull shapes. Stackable, sleek, design, conserves space. Once frozen, sleeves with ice can be stored without base. Okay, so there's like a little rubber base. I'll open this up. Tray handles for easy mobility. So that includes base and three skull sleeves. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun because Halloween's coming up. Uh, 
I can make some of these up for some drinks for the Halloween party. As long as we're able to do a little party. Hopefully we can do a little small party here, small gathering, because we have a pretty good trick-or-treat neighborhood. Um, just your typical neighborhood around here. And, okay, that's cool. So you have these rubbery molds. This one has a pirate eye. Just different skull shapes. Perfect for the Halloween. Perfect for the Halloween. Or whatever you want to do with it. You have to wash these up and then I guess you fill them with water. Drop them in like so. I guess you drop them in first, fill them with water, put, plop them in the freezer. And then you can unsleeve them later. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. Um, BPA free. That's nice. Dishwasher safe. That's good. Food safe. I hope so. Um, BK5133. Okay. So we have some cool items so far. The Shinwa, the Kissing Crane. And I like these ice sculpts or ice molds. So here we go. <laughs> so we have a get that sticker off. Trump Pants 2020. Keep America great. Okay. Um, that election's over. It's not 2020, so it's kind of like, you know, what's the Super Bowl do with... doesn't matter if that's your team or not. It's like, what's the Super Bowl do with the loser jerseys? Because, I don't know, people don't even watch the NFL nowadays, but NFL, you, the losing team, they still have jerseys made up that, are, that say they won, so they can throw them on at the end, and hats, and uh, shirts, all that stuff. So all that stuff for the losing team usually gets shipped over to a third world country and just airdropped, so they have some clothes... And so they're running around wearing stuff that's not, you know, accurate. Now this is not really saying he won. It's just, it's just the the campaign hat, I guess. So maybe I find a red pill friend to send that to. There's no way to change that to 2024. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna guess at this. I might look up some prices later. I'm gonna give you my personal value. You know, did I do all right? Is it? $31.99 worth of stuff. I don't think it's a $50 value, I'll tell you that right now. But the mask is zero value. Um, this thing, like I said before, you know, three to five bucks. Even going on the high end with five bucks. This baton thing, I mean, three to five bucks. This knife is cool. This knife is cool. Uh, I, I can see that one. Uh, you know, ten day, ten dollars all day long. Kissing crane, definitely cool. I would say ten to fifteen dollars for this. I'm gonna go high on it because I haven't had a kissing crane in a while. Um, I'll go fifteen, and that's gonna be high. <laughs> this mold set right here, pretty cool, about ten bucks. Hopefully, if it works good, um, it looks all right. And then the uh, Trump hat, 2020. Since it's a 2020 hat. Uh, there's really no value on that at all. So, what's that leave us? Um, 10, so 25, 35. Yeah, I mean, I'm right between 35 to 45 on the high end. So, maybe, maybe with these things that I like, $30 value. Um, People are going to argue, it's like, would you go pick out this knife? I, I might if I saw it. This one, probably, at, at a $10, 10 to $15 point. This, maybe, probably not, but I definitely can use it with the Halloween coming up. Definitely not $50 worth of value, so Bug King needs to step up their game on this, on this one. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, yeah, next up is supposedly a $100 value bag, if you can believe that. <laughs> Boom.